Hello, welcome to the fourth session for the explanation of rec command. So before going into further details for this command, let's try to make a scenario. Let's go to the dimension account. Okay. See its structure. So there are different properties in the account. So one of the property is account type. Go to the members. Okay. So so for each member of the account the account type is uh, either asset ast or leq liability or it could be income or it could be expense now in today's session what i'm going to do let's go to excel i have already created a report so let's go to EPM, edit report. So what I did, so in the time, I have March 2016, okay, base level. And for the accounts, I have uh, the root level of uh, balance sheet. So it will include all the accounts with base level okay 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 good the requirement is i want to insert like when when i put the actual values for these accounts no when the account type is ast asset so those values should should be inserted for april in the category of plan so that's that's the requirement so let, let me say, say that again the requirement is i will plan for third party sales for product a with the local currency for March and I want like uh, these account members with account type asset should be should be planned for April so that's the requirement so let's try to write the logic script for this go to logic script go back Cancel it. Go to logic script. We we following the same model. Go to planning. Default. Okay. Hey, let's try to write the code. So when. when the dimension is account condition is And this is so here the condition is for the account type so what we need to do factor equals to we need to increase by Let's assume 
time should be 2016.04 we, we want to show the results records should be copied to April 2016 and the category should be plan Let's validate it. It's okay. Save it. Now go to the report. Okay. So here we need to see like here the account type is asset or liability. So let's try to use the APM function. So member property, go to the function, connection is default, the member is this and which property we going to access, account type, so press ok, so it's the asset. Okay. Now let's plan. Hundred, two hundred. Sorry, we we putting the actual values now. Three hundred. So what's the objective? The objective is when I saved these uh, records to the database, the account members with account type asset should be inserted to April 2016 with category equals to plan. So let, let's try to see that. Save the records. Yes. Okay, now go to plan, Act. refresh the report, and change to April, okay, it's already there, refresh it. Go to edit, go to time, yeah, so we did it. So, so what we did in this scenario, we planned for the account members for all the account members for March and and we want like the account members with account type asset should be inserted in the database with April with 10% increase so that we accomplished now if you don't want to see like uh, the accounts with no members so you go to option sheet members rows so you say hide empty and zero values okay you refresh it 
So we have a nice and elegant report. This is for the category plan. We will continue with the rec command in the coming sessions as well. Thanks for watching.